Greetings and welcome to Monster Legends, and another special feeding episode. This time we're going to be feeding one of the most dangerous creatures in all of existence. This is Rabuka, and yes, he's a rabbit. Be afraid. Be very afraid. But fortunately for us, well actually I shouldn't say fortunately, fortunately for the rest of the world, he is restrained by having one of his uh, ruin slots locked. We may have to fix that to unleash his full potential. As frightening as that might be. Alright, so let's find a home for this crazed monstrosity. How about there? How terrifying. Of course, I got Rabuka in a recent uh, egg collecting event, and uh, I can't wait to see what he's got. All right, let's see. Okay, there he is, innocently bouncing around in an egg. Yes, innocently. We know rabbits are not innocent, though. They're nuts. All right, let's see how this fellow is nuts. Uh, of course, we're going to rename him, of course. Anyway, this is Rebuka. He is a legendary. He is magical. He is also hardened. He has a 20% chance of having bad effects just not stick to him. So I can see that he's getting a rather large buff at the moment because his stamina is not 140. So we're going to have to, like, try to figure out what his real strengths are here, other than insanity. Okay, so his power is for... 19, his speed is 377, so obviously he's more powerful than he is speedy. We don't really know what the exact values are. Okay, so his life here is very good. He's probably going to end up being a little bit above average in terms of that. After all, he is walking around in like a mech suit. Kind of looks like it. Well, at the moment, he's bouncing around, so hopefully he comes back. Oh, there he is. All right, so let's check out some skills here. Okay, mechanical rabbit. Deals low physical damage to one enemy, and hunt with eggs. Deals moderate magic damage to one enemy, and of course, his super skill, his special skill, nerf this. Attacker removes positive status effects from itself, removes 100% of total life from one enemy, removes 100% of total life from itself. So, he's going to purge all positive effects from himself, therefore protecting himself from what's coming. He will kill one enemy and himself. So, in other words, there's no chance of him evading his death. So, all positive status effects, then he's going to kill one enemy and kill himself. I'd be very curious if that's usable on bosses. I am going to have to test that when his testing time comes, which is going to be very soon. I'm going to have to work him into the next group. You know I have to work him into the next group. All right, so, Easter time again. Another year where everyone is digging holes and ruining rabbit lairs to hide stupid Easter eggs. Another year where it comes time for Rabuka to dust off his giant bazooka. It's an Easter tradition for this moody bunny to take all the Easter eggs he finds in his way and shoot them at his enemies. I told you, rabbits, they're crazy. They really are. Only this one is more dangerous than most. Yes, very dangerous. All right, let's get him up to level four for his first evolution. There he is. He's already got his mech suit going, and he's been collecting Easter eggs. Look out. All right, so let's just start working on those skills, because I'm sure he got the skills. All right, level seven, Rancid Egg. Applies a random negative status effect to one enemy. Okay, one round cooldown. All right, negative status effects, random. Random could be something malign. It could be something really, really bad. So we'll see how that works out for his enemies. Let's get to level 10 and his next skill, Boiled Egg. Exasperating. <laughs> Deals moderate special damage to one enemy. Okay, very high moderate damage. Very high moderate special damage. So remember, he's got a higher strength than he does a speed, so he's probably a damage dealer. Yes. All right, let's continue to level 15. Defense Matrix applies a 40% shield to itself. 
Excellent. Very excellent. Uh, we'll just put that in the front, because I'm sure he's going to get better than that, one way or another. I wouldn't look for him to be doing much for teammates, though. Just a guess. He doesn't seem to be a team player. Yes. All right. Insane, insane rabbits usually aren't team players. All right. Level 20. Boiled rancid egg. Deals massive special damage to one enemy. Applies a random negative status effect to one enemy. What level is this? Was this 15? Okay, that's going right there. And I would be shocked beyond comprehension if he doesn't finish his uh, configuration with that. He, he got the, oh, level 20. He got that at level 20, though. Wow. Okay, damage dealer with a little extra thrown in. Let's continue. Should be interesting to see what else he gets. Okay, and his final evolution. Okay, Rotten Egg. Applies a random control skill to one enemy. Okay, that's different from a random negative effect. All right, we'll just lose that one. We'll just lose that one. I mean, we got this one up here, the boiled one. I mean, we got the rancid one. Okay, there he is, his final form, and he is fully loaded with Easter eggs. It's so heavy, his guy can't even stand up straight for a long period of time. Okay, now he's... Was that a battle yell? He looked like he did a battle yell. Yeah, rabbits can do that. All right, let's continue to level 30 and more skills. Generator Overclock applies double damage to itself, applies mechanical hater to itself. Ooh, very interesting. Could be very, very useful indeed. All right, let's think about that. I think I'm going to lose that one. If I was going to apply something random, it would be a random control. Because let's face it, when you're going with a random negative effect, that's what you would really like to see the most. I mean, giving a dot is a good thing. But, I mean, if, if it's a stun, a possession, a freeze, something like that, you probably want that more. So I'm just going to put that there for now. The double damage would work very well with uh, the massive special damage one. You know, just saying. All right, let's continue to level 35. Rotten Egg Volley applies a random control skill to all enemies. So I'm not sure what to do with that now. Do I replace this one, or do I count that as the one that I would want going off over here? You know what? I wouldn't mind if that was the first skill he did. If I have to change things later, I will, but I'm going to put it there. Because I wouldn't mind if that was the first one he did. I wouldn't mind. If he gets something that I would consider quote-unquote better, then I'll just I'll make the change. Chances are I'm going to finish with that one, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have that one. It just depends on where it is. First spot's okay. First spot is okay. All right, so let's... We're getting filled up here. Am I getting upgrades? Okay, so let's get to level 40. We figure we probably have two more left. Just thinking. Level 40. Armored shoot. Deals heavy special damage to one enemy. Applies a small 25% shield to itself. I don't know if I have a spot for that one. I mean, it's kind of useful, you would think, but I just don't know if I have a spot for that. Okay, obviously that's not going anywhere, right? That's not going anywhere. That's kind of nice there, especially he can do that whenever he wants, you know? And it's a mechanical hater. In certain situations, that could be very useful. Well, you know what? If I have this... I probably don't need this. So if something else shows up, I mean, this is still a good one. I mean, it, it really is. It's still good. But I mean, I don't really have any other damaging skills. That's what I'm thinking. So I think I'm going to take this one for now. And then we'll see what happens in the end. Because at the moment, technically speaking, I only have one damaging skill. I only have one damaging skill, and it was the big one. So having something else is probably a good idea if his power is good. We might get one more. I'm thinking we might get one more. If we don't, I'm still okay with that. All right, let's go to level 45. Rotten Egg. Okay, so we just kind of got rid of that one. 
And level 50. Boiled Rancid Egg Volley. Deals moderate magic damage to all enemies. Applies a random negative status effect to all enemies. Well, I got to keep that one. I got to keep that one, right? I still like the random control as being the first one. I still like that. I got to lose this one. I got to lose this one. I really got to lose this one because I'm not losing this. This kind of like the, what the character does he, he, he basically does damage to mechanical creatures, right? And he gives himself double damage, and he's no cooldown. He can do that as much as he wants. And then he can come back with this one. And now this one, a, you know, a, you know, high moderate damage that gives random negative effects. Yeah, I mean, I got it. I got it. I got to take that one. I got to take that one. I still prefer the random control one as being the first one he does. How was a cooldown? Three round cooldown. And this is a one round cooldown. This is none. This is two. Yeah, that I mean that's that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. All right, and I do believe we are actually done. So let's just see what is it level fifty-five. Rotten egg. That's a single one, right? No damage there. And finally, level sixty for now. Rotten egg. All right. Okay, we'll take a quick look back here. Even though, yeah, to see the pluses on those numbers. Can we... Are those the bonuses he's getting? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so I guess those just kind of... All right, so if we look at these numbers, he's amazing. But, of course, they are being adjusted. But you can kind of get an idea for what he's got. His power is really good. His life is probably going to be, like I said, a bit above normal. After all, he does have a mech suit on. And he is a rabbit on the inside. He's kind of squishy on the inside. But he's got a little mech suit going there. Uh, speed isn't probably going to end up being too bad at all. And considering some of his skills, that's not bad. But he does do damage. He does damage and he does other things. Let's take a look at the things that he does. All right. Our first skill was... These are the ones that I selected. There was minor variations, but you know what? I think you kind of have to pick the ones that I went with here. Depending, well, of course, looking at it from my play style. Looking at it from my play style. All right, so here we got Rotten Egg Volley. This is applies random control skill to all enemies. So you usually have random negative effects, and he has one that does that. He's had a couple that do that. But basically, they can run the gambit from making you weak to something to stunning to freezing. Well, these are going to go right for the ones you want. The stunning, the freezing, the possession. And also, it can be the two-round versions of some of those. I believe that Mega Freeze and Mega Stun can fall into that category as well. So these are the ones you really want going here. You know, these are the ones you really want going here. And again, it is random. He might try to do a regular possession on something that is immune to possession. He might try to do a hacking on that one, and it'll work. It's all of them. They all get grouped in there. Might work out, might not work out. But it's generally speaking, you have a good chance of getting something under your control one way or another. So anyway, that's a good skill. That's a good skill to lead off with. Now we have Boiled Rancid Egg. Deals massive special damage to one enemy, applies a random negative status effect. First of all, it's a really good hit. And with his power, yeah, it's going to hurt a lot. It's going to hurt a lot. And then it's also going to give a random negative effect. Now that back to what I was saying. It might give you a really nice control one. It might put a dot on. It might also take all the stamina away, but it might just give you one of those, uh, you know, what's a weak to uh, an element or something like that. Maybe your team doesn't even have that element. So it's kind of random. But if nothing else, it's a really good solid hit. Kind of low stamina too, so it's not so bad. And this one here, Generator Overclock, this is a self buff. As I said, I don't think he was going to do anything for anyone but himself. That's the way rabbits are. Anyway, this one applies double damage to itself for one round and applies mechanical hater to itself. I do believe that means he does triple damage to mechanical enemies. I think it is triple damage. I think that's the way the haters work. So in a war situation or if you're doing a special encounter that has mechanical, you can really hurt somebody with this. You do this one. If you get a chance to do this one and go back to that one, 
you might just kill something outright. You might just kill something outright. And if you have a group, a group of mechanical, well, then you can reach over for this one. Boiled Rancid Egg Volley. Deals moderate magic damage to all enemies, applies a random negative status effect to all enemies. So three of his skills, he's going to be doing random stuff to the enemy because that's just kind of awesome right there. And it's really on the high end of moderate. So with his strength and if he gets generator overclock, he's going to do a lot of damage. If he's doing it against mechanical and he did this one, then he's going to be doing a lot of damage to them. So anyway, he's pretty darn interesting whatsoever. Situational, true. Very situational, that's true. But he could be very, very useful indeed. Yeah, I'm thinking of a couple of uses for him right now. Anyway, um, in terms of um, runes, well, you can see I have a little locked one there. Might take care of that in the future. Might take care of that in the future. Well, you got to exploit his damage. Definitely, you got to exploit his damage. But considering he does random negative effects and random control, and he does have his self buff, which means he's going to do more stuff, you probably want to throw some speed on him there too. It's hard to say if you want to go crazy with the damage on him, or you want to have him just go a lot because of his ability to do the random control and random effects. So I guess that's really depending on how you're going to use him. He's not denial. I mean, he, his first skill is kind of denialish, kind of denialish. But, I mean, it is random. You wouldn't want to bet the farm on that. If you had him as like a second rank denial in there, that might be very useful. But he's going to do damage. You want to put him up against mechanical guys. Definitely at least one damage, probably at least one skill, single target ones. After that, you, he doesn't really need life. Um, other than his first skill, his first skill was a little heavy on the stamina. But, I mean, you're only going to do that once really in a fight. Unless the fight goes a long time or it's a multi-stage uh, uh, adventure map encounter, you know. But then this one, not really very expensive, not very expensive, not very expensive. So you probably don't need stamina on him either. So you might want to either throw another damage on him or throw another speed on him. Or maybe a support one, you know, a group version of either one of them. Depends on how you intend to use him. Anyway, so this is Rabuka. He's kind of interesting. He looks kind of good, frankly. And I can't wait to start testing with him. Now that, of course, we have this glorious high res, that might be very soon. So anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.